Good morning, here's day two on the Big Island. We are headed to Volcanoes National Park right now. We stopped on the side of the road for a drone session. There is a, what looks like was a pretty recent lava flow down the mountain here. We found this house that's burned down that's like mm -hmm. right next to the road too. It's sad to see. I feel like I've seen at least one other like that, but we are excited to get to the park. I have a full list of places to visit. The volcano is not actively spewing lava though, which kind of sucks, but I think March was the last time there was actually like lava that you could see. So that's why we're not going like later in the day for sunset because we won't be able to see the lava at night and it's almost 7 a.m so we should be there hopefully in the next hour and a half or so yeah we'll see to throw the drone up because it's all lava rock for like, it feels like miles and miles. On the drone, it's a really cool view point. Like Derek said, it looks like another planet, but we're about 50 minutes from the park now. So we're just trying to get in all of the drone footage that we can. visitor center is closed it opens up in 10 minutes and I just wanted to go in there for a map and then just to look around and see if they had any shirts or anything blackish rock that you also find in Death Valley. It's very barren of course. You can see steam just coming through the rocks. I'm just reading this like little poster about what they're doing. So they're trying to image the underground. They said it's like a CT scan for like a body, you know, it generates images. So they're trying to do the same thing. The next stop is going to be the Thurston Lava Tubes. Let's go! We had to park at a lookout that was about a half mile away from the Thurston Lava Tubes. And now we're having to walk the trail over because the parking lot at the Lava Tubes is really, really small. And it's also the trailhead for the hike where you could go down onto the crater floor. All right.
right, we're about to head into the Thurston Lava Tubes. After a half mile walk. Just starting the Halukuiki Trail. It's about 1.2 miles from the top of the crater, and then you hike a mile down into the crater, and then you get about a mile walk down on the crater floor. Then it's right back up again. We're at the end of the downhill and we're about to be on the crater floor. Only took us 20 minutes. Not too bad for a mile. Oh. Maybe. 1.2 miles, there you go. We're in the middle of the crater right now. We were gonna stop in the middle and then go back, but it's not too far. It hasn't been too crazy. Like there's gravel and stuff, we might like slip a little bit, but it is mostly just the hard lava rock, easy to walk through. I wouldn't take kids on this, and then if you have any like joint problems, like knee or hip problems, like it might be kind of tough, because you really do have to watch everywhere that you walk, because I've almost slipped and tripped a thousand times, <laughs> but it's a really cool view. Like, when can you say you're in a crater? So we've gone pretty far. We have many other things we want to do today. So this is how far we're going to go. This is the end of the trail right here. It goes up this little peak and then back down. We're about to head back up the side of the crater. So it's about a mile a little bit more than a mile up and then another half mile back to our car because we didn't get to park at the trailhead we had to park a half mile away so far so good going back up the crater it's pretty gradual a few steps here and there Just about done walking back to the car from the trailhead to where we parked. Overall, it wasn't too hard to go up. It was maybe 600 feet in elevation gain. Okay, we just finished at the crater, got back to the car, and now we're gonna head to the sea arch. It's about a 40 minute drive from where we're at now. We'll see if there's anything on the way there. The 1974 lava flow. The lava came from this crater right here. All right, we're on the way to the arch, and what's the other spot? We're also seeing the petroglyphs. Uh, those are first, and then the arch, and then we'll drive back to Kona. at the sea 
arch. Literally getting sprayed with the rain. It's falling all the way back there and just hitting us. just got done at Volcanoes National Park. Carrie's gonna get some poke from Foodland and I'm gonna get some Hawaiian barbecue from l, l which we do have in Southern California as well. Visiting Volcanoes National Park is a must do if you're visiting the island of Hawaii. And that wraps up our second day here. 